Hi children, welcome to Evershine Coaching Center. Myself Faisal sir here. Today I am going to discuss the topic of Jive Curve. <laughs> children, in the chapter statistics, you all know it. We have the very important section of construction of Jive. Children, before I could start this session, I just like to tell you one important thing here. Please do remember <laughs> whether you are drawing, uh, whether you are going to solve less than type or more than type. One thing you should ensure about the graph. You all knows what is less than type and what is more than type. But still, in the beginning of this session, I just like to tell you how will be the graph of less than type and more than type. Okay. Let me take these are the two graphs. This is for less than type, and this is for more than type because this is very important to understand. <laughs> Children, <coughs> <coughs> okay, see, sorry for disturbance, they will give you some value. Okay, in class interval, let it be some values will be given and here frequency will be given, right? I am showing you the difference between less than and more than first, then we are going to start solving the problem. <laughs> okay, some values will be given. Even for more than also, class interval will be given and then frequency will also be given. Please understand this basic concept clearly. Okay, fine. Both the cases they have given some class interval and they have given the frequency. <laughs> Suppose for an example, I will take frequencies here as 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also I will take it as 1, 2, 3, 4. But in less than type, please remember, please remember we take the value this. We start from here in less than type. But in more than type, we start from here. Condition 1. In less than type, from where we start? From first digit. In more than type, from where we start? From the last digit. How? The cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. In less than type, first what we do? We write this as it is. But in more than type, what we do? We write last digit as it is. Now start adding the numbers. 1 plus 2, <laughs> 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. Here also 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 1, 10. Now add all f, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. So the value of n is 10. <laughs> the value of n is 10. Here also can we add all these numbers? So here also we can see the value is 10. What is this? The value of n. Observe children, this value and this end value should be same. This value and here this end value should remain same. This is condition 1. This is nothing but our condition 1. Next condition number 2. Example. Example. I am going to consider as here 1 to 5. Here 6 to 10. 11 to 15. 16 to 20. I am taking one some basic numbers. If in case class interval for both the uh, for both the uh, for both these questions it is same class interval assume. 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20. <laughs> In case if you are taking less than, less than ka matlab kya beta? Come. Means less. Less is nothing but see from 1 to 5, here 1 is smaller number and 5 is bigger number. Can you see this? Yes or no? But here we have to get the number since it is telling less than. Means we have to take less than 5. We have to use the word. What word we have to use? Okay, not in class interval. Just one more column you have to make in that, okay, there you can, if you want, you can write class interval itself. Here we should take as less than 5. We have to use this word less than 5. Understood? Less than 10, less than 15, less than 20. We have to make one more additional column in which we should write here this as less than 5, less than 10, less than 15 less than 20 okay 
we should use this column if you are taking less than we have to take right side if we take less than we have to take right side if we take more than see the word itself represents more more means higher that means more than one here we have to use the word more than one more than are you getting children more than six more than 11 more than 16 we have to use these words we have to use these words what exactly these are we have written here less than 5 less than 10 less than 15 less than 20 what is this these all are nothing but our x-axis in the graph where we plot this is our x-axis this we usually call it as see less opposite was more more opposite is less i'm giving you the logic less what is the opposite more more is nothing but upper that is nothing but we call it as upper limit okay in less than type graph in less than type curve what you have to do you have to write x axis as upper limit because 5 10 15 20 these all are upper limits got it in more than type what we have to write x axis more opposite is less less is nothing but lower limit we have to write here lower limit this is our x-axis and this is our cumulative frequency this is our cumulative frequency understood children what we have to do initially in less than and more than type what we have to do are you getting children yes in less than we have to take right hand side values but in more than we should take left hand side values you should know this okay here in less than type graph x-axis we write upper limit and y-axis we write cumulative frequency here x-axis is lower limit y-axis is cumulative frequency got it now what is the nature of the graph remember you should not start exactly from zero because it depends upon the values if you are getting the first answer as zero you can start from zero but here we can see cumulative frequency start from one it start from one means you have to start anyhow when we solve the problem i'll show you but the nature of the graph is okay you should not use scale remember there are certain terms and conditions we should not use scale we should not use scale we should draw free hand curve we should draw free hand curve got it free hand curve example this is one point 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 so what you should do just freely freely just join this again turn the page join this again just join here again just join here that's it so it means it from it start from down and it ends at top it moves in this direction what it but in more than it start from top and it ends down it start here again you can take and you can join here what it in less than type it moves in this direction but in more than type it moves in the opposite direction in less than from less to top in more than more to bottom got it children you understood this basics between less than and more than in less than we start from here in more than we start from here condition one in condition two if they give if they have given directly less than five less than ten less than fifteen directly you can take this is only x-axis in case if they have given the range like this then you have to take this additional step you have to take this one step more this step we have to take then you should start solving the curve got it so this is the basic which actually i just wanted to tell you now come back to the problem what is the question here i hope you have understood but still we solve one problem based on less than type draw less than type ogive curve for the given data class interval and frequency 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 30 to 35 35 to 40 and frequencies are 2 12 2 4 3 4 3 done good <laughs> so first what we do uh, we take it is less than type right it is less than if it is less than what we have to use what we should use remember if it is less opposite to less is more more means upper limit <laughs> so this is upper limit we are taking first column as upper limit that is less than less than 10 means less than 10 and here less than 15 similarly less than 
20 we have to take these values less than 10 less than 15 less than 20 less than 25 are you getting children less than 30 less than 35 less than 40 these values we have to use got it less than 20 less than 25 less than 30 less than 35 and then less than 40 this is all our upper limits got it and next is frequency what is the frequency has been given 2 12 2 4 3 4 3 you should write in order and next is cumulative frequency since it is less than type since it is less than type can you see here it is less than type so what we do we write the first number as it is we write the first number as it is if you want you can write here 2 2 plus 12 add that is 14 right here 14 okay 14 plus 2 how much 16 right here 16 with this 16 add 4 16 plus 4 20 right 20 here 20 plus 3 how much 23 right 23 here 23 plus 4 how much 27 right 27 here 27 plus 3 how much it is 30 right 30 here got it this is cumulative frequency this is our cumulative frequency i hope you have understood this good after this first only we have to ensure the values what we have got the cumulative frequencies those are correct or wrong how to check add all f that is 12 plus 2 14 14 plus 2 16 16 plus 4 20 23 27 30 so what is the final answer we got 30 what is this that is the value of n so this value and this value should match yes now our answer is correct now our answer is right got it <laughs> now we draw the graph so you will be getting one graph sheet okay in your exam to draw the ogive curve at that time how to draw this ogive curve very simple okay so what we do here while we draw the graph please do remember okay in uh, usually in our solve graphically we used to draw in the center right but here we don't draw in the center we draw from here just leave one line and you can take the values from here are you getting children but how many values we should take how many values means how many centimeters i have to draw the line i doesn't know right we doesn't know how many centimeters so what you should do check these values so what is these values upper limit these all are our x-axis right and what is this cumulative frequencies this is all are about y-axis got it so this is x-axis and this is y-axis in x-axis how many values we want 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so how many how much we want 7 it means we have 7 divisions right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have 7 divisions means if we get 7 centimeters that is sufficient okay 7 centimeters <laughs> for an example uh, see check the cumulative frequencies also in what uh, range they are see this is anyhow 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 okay it goes on because anyhow 10 15 20 25 it's under five tables right means 10 to 15 five gap 15 to 20 five gap so it's all the gaps are between five so we take five ranges we take five values got it so what is the highest value here please remember what is the highest value here 40 so we start here from 40 we start here from 40 observe here uh, what we do anyhow you will be doing in the pencil no issue but here i am doing in the pen okay so what i will do here i'll just take one approximate line okay so what is the highest value we have here 40 we have highest value 40 so this value i will take it as uh, <laughs> uh, let it be 50 i'll take 50 some two values more 50 less is 45 40 uh, sorry this is our x-axis right oh no so this is our y-axis so upper limit and cumulative frequency is y-axis so we do one thing i'll just uh, change the sheet 
okay see you mm. so here the, all the values are in what way in what manner 2 14 16 20 23 27 here also can we take in terms of uh, 5 yes we can take no yeah we can take so what you can do is just draw one straight line draw one straight line okay first i am drawing y axis i am drawing cumulative frequency values okay so what is the highest value here i have 30 <laughs> so i will write 30 highest number 30 next because everything is in five digits right here also 30 i'll take 25 20 and next 15 and next 10 and then 5 and then here 0 that is 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 this is my y axis this is my y axis <laughs> similarly i'll be going to draw one more line the bottom line you can erase it okay just draw one straight line here what uh, in what uh, way these all values are this is also can we take in five values in five terms 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 then 40 okay so then you have to write this as x axis and this is our y axis so this you have to indicate like this so this is our what upper limit and what is this this is our cumulative frequency if you don't write this you may lose half mark be careful you may lose half mark and after that you should write this scale also scale see these all are called as units 10 15 20 25 30 35 these all are called as units 0 to 5 is unit actually okay 5 to 10 is units these all are under units but in scale from here to here it is 1 centimeter it means from 0 to 5 is 5 units right yeah we are assuming x axis we are assuming x axis that is from 0 to 5 is 5 units we are assuming 5 units is equals to 1 centimeter we are taking this 5 units as 1 centimeter similarly y axis from 0 to 5 is also again 5 units this is called as 5 units we are converting this into 1 centimeter you should write this very importantly from here to here if you take 10 you should write 10 units equals 1 centimeter from here to here if you take 20 20 units equals 1 centimeter this is 1 centimeter gap whatever the number you write here just write this much units is 1 centimeter whatever the number you write here this much units is 1 centimeter that is scale now come back to the main problem so what is uh, the value of x uh, that is 10 it is here okay 10 comma 2 so this is 10 and then what we do okay uh, we just plot this to here okay it is not visible uh, but still you can just try to put the value over there okay that is 10 comma 2 just i have written a dot <laughs> next 15 comma 14 15 is here right and next 14 just one one value down that's nothing but 15 comma 14 and then 20 comma 16 this is 20 s yes. 16 somewhere just here that is nothing but 20 comma 16 if you want put arrow marks put arrow marks and 20 comma 16 right it comes here only okay and after that uh, 25 comma 20 this is 25 and this is over 20 this coordinate 25 comma 20 and next 30 comma 23 this is 30 okay and this is 23 somewhere anyhow these values are lying like this anyhow okay 20 uh, 23 right uh, 30 comma 23 30 comma 23 next 35 comma 27 this is 35 and this is uh, 27 35 top and this is our 27 got it if you don't write these coordinates also okay no problem because uh, it is lying over there after you plot then you can write these coordinates wherever you find space wherever you find space you can write there got it
नेक्स्ट फोर्टी कामा थर्टी दिस इज फोर्टी एंड दिस इज माई कोर्डिनेट थर्टी वॉट यू हैव टू डू आई सेड यू फ्री हैंड राइट दिस इज यू आंसर शीट राइट फॉर दिस आंसर शीट यू जस्ट रोटेट लाइक दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू योर कन्वीनियंट ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू योर कन्वीनियंट सो दैट यू कैन जस्ट ड्रॉ ए लाइन जस्ट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ ए स्ट्राइट लाइन वेयर यू जस्ट मीट दिस पॉइंट विथ दिस पॉइंट विथ ए फ्री हैंड लाइन दैट्स इट जस्ट जॉइन इट देन रोटेट द पेज ओके जस्ट जॉइन हियर एंड नेक्स्ट अगेन जॉइन हियर अगेन नेक्स्ट join here and then join here and then join here that's it understood now i want to check anyhow most of you will leave the graph like this but it is wrong for what purpose we did this graph very importantly for what purpose to find median where is median you have not found median itself no you will have to draw median also so to find median we have to use the condition n by 2 what is n 30 30 by 2 is 15 30 by 2 is 15 so what you should do is see the value of y axis see the value of y axis where 15 is coming it's coming here can you see this this 15 is coming here so from here what you should do is just draw some dotted lines till where till where till uh, when it just touches the curve when it is touching the curve stop it's touching the curve s yes. just stop again from here take down again from here take down now where it's committing it's meeting at 15 where it's meeting okay by using graphical method point 1 or point 2 maybe it is it may be like uh, 14 it was a 14.8 14.9 something okay no problem just from n by 2 value this n by 2 value we got 15 from y axis 15 draw one line we, when it touch the curve stop again from there come down where it meets the x axis it meets the x axis at 15 so therefore our answer of median is 15 so this is our final answer this is our main answer so median is equals to 15 you should not forget this understood children so median answer is 15 you have to find this at any cost you have to find then only you will get full marks be careful understood and sometimes what they do they will ask they will also ask and hence uh, but in this problem they have not asked just i'm saying you uh, and also uh, cross verify by your formula method means the answer what you have got is right or wrong to cross check they may ask you at that time what you have to do is just write the formula of median what is the formula of median l plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency by frequency into h right this is our formula right median equals l plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency by frequency into h so first we have to find lower limit so what is n by 2 value 15 where 15 is coming it's lying between uh, 15 is lying between 14 and 16 right in between these two values so which is highest 16 already i have done in the statistics but again i am repeating okay 14 and 16 in between 15 is lying which is highest 16 from this come here that is third first second third what is uh, third class interval 1 2 3 that is 15 to 20 15 to 20 in this uh, this this 15 to 20 this is known as median class this is known as median class in this which is uh, lowest 15 so the value of l is 15 the value of l is 15 from this we got one value leave this not go back no after l what we want n by 2 leave it no next what we want cumulative frequency so cumulative frequency is 14 from this number we got one value no what we want after cumulative frequency we want frequency if you want frequency again come down from this take frequency what is frequency that is 2 and h h is nothing but 10 5 Five. Just subtract. Ten minus five. A two minus a one. We say no like that. Second term minus first term. Okay. Ten minus five is five. So h is five. Got it. Now uh, here itself I'll be solving. You can just uh, see that is nothing but now we can say median is equals to the value of l is fifteen plus n by two is also fifteen minus cumulative frequency is fourteen by h is five. Uh, means frequency is two. Into h is five. Substitute the values. 
then 15 plus 15 minus 14 is 1 1 by 2 into 5 that's nothing but 15 plus 5 by 2 5 by 2 5 by 2 means 2.5 correct that's nothing but 15 plus 2.5 that's nothing but 17.5 oh my god see so median is 17.5 so what was wrong that's what i said you right uh, so median should be 17.5 see here by uh, this method when we did 1 by 2 15 minus 14 is 1 1 by 2 what it 1 by 2 into 5 that is 5 by 2 5 by 2 is 2.5 okay that's nothing but 15 plus 2.5 17.5 so uh, here when we took the graph is it proper check it out because we want median as 17.5 not 15 so where did we go wrong is the plotting is correct cross check this is 15 and this is 14 right from 15 we have to plot to 14 it comes here mm, we do one thing just a minute <laughs> we shall we increase the size but procedure is this only children don't worry procedure is same okay just a minute <laughs> shall we increase the scale see like this even you also can do the mistake in your exam not only me even you can do this mistake so be careful understood we can't leave this problem as it is see this is mistake number one what happened as you all have seen what happened here most of you will leave as it is and they will make 17.5 and they, they will keep understood you should not do like that uh, now what we do here uh, this is 30 right yeah mm, we do like this we take like this 30 little bit bigger uh, dimensions shall we take shall we pay shall we take little bit bigger dimensions like uh, in terms of uh, tens shall we take in terms of tens okay like uh, the highest value of uh, y axis is what 30 <laughs> is it the highest value is 30 uh, we take little bit bigger value like 50 okay and next division we take here as 40 and next here we take it as 30 then this is 20 this is 10 and this is 0 shall we take in this way okay anyhow 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 little bit i have just taken down that's it what it <laughs> again here this is 0 i am taking this as 10 20 30 40 50 this is my x axis and this is my y axis and this is upper limit this is upper limit and this one is cumulative frequency okay come back to the concept 10 this is 10 and this is 2 1 2 okay next 15 it comes here 15 x axis and y axis is 14 so this is 15 and this is uh, 14 it plots here okay next 20 and 16 this is 20 done and this is 16 just above this one one point done and after that 2016 25 20 25 this is 20 25 20 30 23 30 and next it is 23 it's here 35 27 35 26 27 it's here 40 30 and this is 40 and this is 30 now when you are drawing freehand curve you should be very careful just join from here to here again join from here to here then next again join here join here join join so what is n by 2 we got 15 right you got n by 2 15 from here exactly we draw 
a straight line actually there we that was also correct but the points what we have plotted due to the coordinates we return over there okay yes so it is meeting here at this point can you see it's not meeting here actually it is meeting just one point above because we have seen right it is 16 20 and 16 not 15 so actually what we did over there since we have written the coordinates we got confused but it is correct it was correct itself no problem from here we have to draw the straight line so it meets at this position this is 15 and this is 16 yes our answer is right so median equals 17.5 but here it shows like either 17 or 18 no problem okay because we cannot see decimals over there next scale you have to write here that is scale x-axis okay 0 to 10 we have taken no 0 to 10 how much that is 10 units is equals to 2 centimeter if you have written 5 write 5 no problem but here we have taken 10 units equals 2 centimeter same way y axis 0 to 10 10 units is equals to 2 centimeters this is 2 centimeters see between what is the difference between that graph and this graph okay so like this also you can do little bit uh, values you take more here if it was 40 take 50 okay little bit graph will comes down so that you may not get confused and after that if you want you can write the coordinates okay if not you can leave it no problem so this is median i hope you all have understood this less than type graph how to solve if you have understood this video if you have liked this video please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video and uh, uh, please do subscribe for our channel evershine coaching groups thank you once again